my fellow car modelers, and I got something to say. Here we go again. Kit prices. It's something that, again, back to the death of the hobby, he's talked a lot about kit prices. Man, kits cost so much. What are we paying for kits now? Upwards of $230. Why can't the kits be what they were back in the day when we paid four bucks for them, or depending on when you start? I remember when I started back, what, uh, 1980. 84, right out of high school. I had a construction job. I did pretty good. I was bringing home pretty decent money, six bucks an hour. And I was doing really good. I was still living at home. I was starting a career as an electrician. Yeah, I was doing pretty good. Oh, you know what? Come to think of it, I was making five bucks an hour. But as I went on and I got up to six bucks an hour and seven, well, I was doing really good by the time I was living on my own. I made seven bucks, seven fifty an hour. And I was buying model kits. And I could go to the hobby shop, and for like 10 bucks, I could get my kit, some glue, some paint. And I was ready to go. Man, the kits got to $10. I used to go, wow, I used to be able to buy glue and paint with that. Yeah, prices go up. But then I also remember I was paying a dollar a gallon for gas. I was paying for my bread maybe like 50 cents. I remember my apartment. I had a pretty decent apartment. A one-bedroom apartment was $300 a month. But man, the kits... They were freaking 10. They were 12. Wow, they're tipping up to 15 bucks. Oh man, I'm gonna have to stop this hobby. I can't afford it. Do you see what I'm saying here? What I'm saying, everything's gone up. And we also are kind of getting paid more than we did back in the day. Back in 85, you could buy a brand new IROC for about fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars $16,000. Today, a car equivalent to that is probably about $40,000, $50,000. It's all perspective of your dollar i think if you find out and you look kit prices really aren't that much higher and if you think that the hobby shops are gouging you they're really not making that much off the kit they're only making a small percentage off of it they're maybe making you know three four dollars off of it there's not this big profit margin that's not killing the hobby either because they're still selling like crazy. The, the companies are still making more kits than ever and the aftermarket companies are doing fine. So people are buying them. If you enjoy something, you pay for it. And I'll tell you what, I have a couple of other hobbies that are pretty freaking expensive, like real cars and stuff. The, the model stuff is a heck of a lot cheaper than other things. And now let's think about the tank builders. The average kit that those guys have to pay is about 50 to $70 a kit. That's the average for them. They dough it out because they love building their tanks and they love their hobbies and they're not complaining about it. They don't seem to mind. Are the kit prices really out of line? No, I think we got it made. We could have it a lot worse. Now, again, I like buying Tamiya kits. They're getting up there. I've paid $50 for a kit, but you know, I, I, it doesn't bug me because the quality of the kit is really outstanding and, and I, you know, I'm willing to pay for my happiness and enjoyment. If it's a struggle for you, I'm, I'm sorry, because I'll tell you what, it's a struggle for me too. I'm definitely not making tons of money, man. I'm stretched out. I got bills. You know what? I love the hobby so much. I set money aside to buy kits I want. When I can, I do. When I can, I don't. I can't see the issue of going in and dropping $30 for a kit. In the grand scheme of things, it takes out of my budget probably less than back when they used to cost 8 bucks a kit and what I was making back then. Boy, don't be a tank modeler. That'll hurt. And by the way, I'm thinking about buying a tank model. I've never built one, so there there you go. I won't share that with you guys. I don't want to I don't want to bring no off-subject stuff onto my channel. No way am I going to do that. That's for another rant. Yeah, guys, don't don't worry about the prices. I mean, if it, if it's a if it's an issue for you, I'm really sorry. I don't mean to offend, but just to do the hobby the best you can and save up money to buy a kit you enjoy. And you got your forty percent coupons at, at Hobby Lobby. Okay, you know, back to the old story of you're all upset because you don't have hobby shops, but the first thing you do is you grab that forty percent coupon and run to Hobby Lobby and throw your money at them. That's why the hobby shops are closing. Me, I don't worry so much about that. I'd rather pay more for a kit and give it to my local hobby shop because I get a lot out of him being there and I want him to stay. If I didn't have my hobby shop to go to. Oh, oh just the thought. <laughs> kind of get it together. I can't, I can't even think about not having my hobby shop. Anyways, so just 
Keep on building the models, don't worry about it. It's always been a struggle to fit your entertainment into your budget. You know, you got to get the bills paid. So pay the bills, buy a model, have some fun with it, and buy another model. Buy another model. I want to go buy a model. Thanks for listening. Throw some comments down below. That's it. I'm done talking. Oh, boy. Oh. That's my rant for the day. So you guys take care, and we'll see you in the next video.